And now we're going to talk about proximal humerus fractures. These are fractures that are around the ball and the ball's connection to the shaft called the humerus. We've talked an awful lot about problems with the socket, but the socket, remember, is made mostly of the rotator cuff tendons, and those tendons attach around the ball. And so fractures that can happen to the ball, particularly at the attachment of the rotator cuff, can be problematic for how the shoulder functions. Here you see a fracture of an area called the greater tuberosity, and notice that the rotator cuff is attached to this piece of bone. Next, we see a fracture related to the ball itself and see that the ball has moved inferior. And finally, we see a fracture to the connection of the ball to the shaft, something called a surgical neck fracture. The two most common fractures are the one we're looking at right now, the surgical neck fracture, and the other one, which is the greater tuberosity fracture. This is a special type of fracture. In essence, it's disrupted the attachment of the rotator cuff to the ball. In many ways, it functions as if the rotator cuff was injured. And so even though it's a fracture and often needs to be surgically repaired, the reason that it needs to be surgically repaired is to restore the function of the rotator cuff. Now that repair comes in several forms. Here is a simple repair done with a screw my preferred repair is usually to sew the rotator cuff and the piece of bone back to the proximal humerus, which is very much like a standard repair of the rotator cuff. <laughs>